Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got uh, these uh, two triangles, uh, this uh, red triangle uh, EAC and this uh, other triangle uh, BDC put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, angle uh, DAC is uh, 90 degrees. The angle uh, DEC is uh, 45 degrees and this angle ECB is 15 degrees and moreover this angle ECD is being represented by angle X and furthermore this segment DE equals to this segment EB and now our task is to find the value of this angle X please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And we are interested uh, in finding this uh, angle uh, EBC. And now let's recall the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite uh, interior angles. As you can see in this uh, given diagram and here we can see that this uh, angle C is our uh, exterior angle whereas uh, these angles uh, A and B are our opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, this angle C is going to be equal to angle A plus angle B. So therefore in our case uh, this angle is going to be our exterior angle and these are going to be our opposite uh, interior angles. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle EBC is going to be 30 degrees uh, such that uh, the sum of these two angles 15 degrees plus 30 degrees uh, is indeed equal to 45 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big right triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, in our case, uh, if this angle is 30 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, angle uh, BAC is going to be 60 degrees so therefore we can see that this is our 30 60 90 special uh, triangle since this angle is 30 degrees this angle is 90 degrees and this whole angle is 60 degrees before we proceed any further we are going to go over the basic review on uh, 30 60 90 special triangle and here i have copied down uh, this uh, right triangle uh, a b c and we can see this 30 degrees is our smallest angle whereas 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore the side opposite to this uh, smallest angle is going to be our uh, smallest leg. Whereas the leg that is opposite to our largest uh, angle is going to be our longest uh, leg and this is called uh, the hypotenuse. So therefore in such kind of special 30, 60, 90 triangle the longest leg is twice the smallest leg. In other words, if the smallest leg is one unit, then the largest leg is going to be two units and this third leg is going to be square root of three. So therefore, for this triangle ABC, this leg AC is one unit and this leg AB is going to be square root of three units and now we are going to focus on this uh, triangle uh, CAE and now we can see this angle is our 90 degrees angle and this is our 45 degrees so therefore uh, this whole uh, angle uh, ACE is going to be 45 uh, degrees uh, as well since the sum of these uh, three interior angles uh, must be equal to 180 degrees in this uh, triangle and now we can see that this is an isosceles uh, triangle since this angle is 45 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees as well so therefore we conclude that this side length uh, ac is going to be equal to this side length ae if this side length uh, is one unit uh, then this uh, ae length is going to be one unit as well 
and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, a b is square root of 3 and this uh, side length uh, a e is uh, 1 so therefore we conclude that this uh, remaining segment uh, e b is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 so we can write uh, square root of 3 minus uh, 1 units and now we can see that this segment uh, e b and this segment uh, d e are uh, equal so therefore if this segment uh, e b is square root of 3 minus 1 then this uh, segment uh, d e is going to be square root of 3 minus 1 uh, as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, segment uh, d e is square root of 3 minus 1 and likewise this segment uh, e b is uh, square root of 3 minus 1 and now we are going to calculate uh, this segment uh, AD and we can see that this uh, tiny segment AD is going to be equal to this uh, whole uh, segment uh, AB which is square root of 3 minus uh, this segment uh, DE and minus this segment EB as well as you can see in this uh, given equation and now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation so therefore uh, our AD length is going to be equal to our uh, AB length is uh, square root of uh, 3 minus our DE length is uh, square root of 3 minus 1 and then minus uh, EB length uh, is uh, square root of 3 minus 1 uh, as well. Let's simplify. So AD length uh, is going to be square root of uh, 3 minus uh, we are going to distribute these negative signs so that's going to give us square root of 3 plus 1 minus uh, square root of 3 plus 1 uh, as well and here we can see square root of 3 minus square root of 3 they cancel each other out so therefore our AD segment uh, length uh, turns out to be 2 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 so therefore our this tiny ad length uh, turns out to be 2 minus uh, square root of 3 and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, cad and let's assume that this uh, angle uh, acd is uh, theta and now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle uh, theta and now let's recall the famous uh, trigonometric ratio tangent of theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent and in our case uh, the opposite length uh, is 2 minus square root of 3 and our adjacent uh, length is 1 so therefore our angle uh, tangent uh, theta equals to 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 1 let's simplify tangent of uh, angle theta equals to 2 minus square root of 3 so therefore we can write uh, theta equals to tangent uh, inverse uh, of uh, 2 minus uh, square root of uh, 3 and we can see that this uh, is going to give us uh, theta equals to our angle uh, 15 uh, degrees so thus our this angle uh, theta turns out to be 15 uh, degrees and here's our final step we can see that this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, some of these uh, three individual angles uh, angle theta plus angle x uh, plus 15 degrees and that is going to be equal to this whole angle 60 degrees so therefore we can write our angle theta plus angle x uh, plus uh, 15 uh, degrees uh, equal to 60 degrees and we know our angle theta is uh, 15 uh, degrees as you can see in this uh, next step let's combine the like terms so our angle x uh, plus uh, 30 degrees equal to 60 degrees and now we are going to subtract 30 degrees from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, our angle uh, x turns out to be 30 degrees so thus our angle x turns out to be 30 degrees Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.